Now King Charles the Cruel has been trending since yesterday because of Charles' move to evict Harry and Meghan from, from a cottage. And my family, Dr. Shola, has waded in into what is happening, into what Charles has done. And people are not happy. People are seeing exactly what Harry and Meghan said about the royal family is true. They are indeed very, very cruel. And my family, allow me to share with you what Dr. Shola has said before I share with you what Harry and Meghan have said through their spokesperson was commented on this news that Harry and Meghan are being evicted from, from a cottage. Now, Dr. Shola said this, and I quote, King Charles and Prince William attack Prince Harry to punish Meghan. I think they blame her for everything. The biracial daughter, sister-in-law of black heritage, mother of King Charles' grandchildren, is the one they are really evicting from, from a cottage. We see you. And I agree with what Dr. Shola said, first of all. Why? Because of what happened one year after Harry and Meghan left, fled the UK whereby a carnival of so-called expert called Christopher Wilson, Christopher Wilson, said that after the one-year review period was over, at the beginning, it was hoped that Harry will come back alone without his wife, Megan, and son, Archie. That's how cruel Charles and William truly are. And also, my family, I want you to see a clip of Dr. Shola on Jeremy Vine's show in the UK on what she said on Jeremy Vine's show. Now, my family, here is what Dr. Shola said. Kindly just look at this. Oh, hello, Jeremy. Hi, everyone on the panel. I find it repugnant the way King Charles continually demonstrates such lack of good judgment and poor character on a number of issues, but particularly with Harry and Meghan. I have no doubt in my mind that the eviction of Harry and Meghan from Frogmore Cottage is not a spontaneous thing. I, I'm sure it's been in the offing for a while, but this was an opportunity to kill two birds with one stone, one payback for Harry's book spare, and two, to distract the public from King Charles's first political role at Rome over Brexit because of his meeting with the European Commission President Ursula von der Leyen. I, you know, we can all see through this. But the fact that King Charles, as a father, decided that he's going to use his power and king uh, as king to take from Harry and Meghan a home bestowed upon them by the queen, a home renovated at Meghan's cost, and knowing fully well the security issues around them um, because this is their second home and Meghan has had you know death threats. The fact that he made the choice to do this shows a level of, I would say, pathetic pettiness and cruelty that is unworthy of a king. Okay. Charles continually places the royal family in such significant reputational risk. I find his character and judgment totally substandard. My family, you have heard those wise words from Dr. Shola. First of all, Charles is deflecting. Charles is deflecting from what he has done, waded into political issues. After receiving bad press because of it, Charles then, right now, released this story to the UK tabloids, to those who are saying that Harry and Meghan are always talking. Ask yourself, who exactly leaked this story? What they intend on doing to the tabloids other than members of the royal family themselves who have done this. 
leaked the story of how Charles is cruel to Harry and Meghan. It's always okay to people when it's the royal family who are doing the leaking against Harry and Meghan. But it's never okay to them when it's Harry and Meghan responding to the leaks. You know? That's where some people draw the line. And I find that completely and totally unacceptable and fully hypocritical. Don't forget, Charles is distracting as you've heard what Dr. Shola said. Because King Charles hosted Ursula von der Leyen. That's why Charles is deflecting a top person, official of the European Union. And because of the backlash that Charles has received, Charles chose to leak this story. Once again, using Harry and Meghan as cover to protect himself, to cover for himself, for his own wrongdoings. And my family, I recall when Charles was accused of receiving money from dubious illegal sources, I recall one thing, that then the palace at the time, Clarence House leaked that Charles had met Lilibet Diana. Charles also used Lilibet as a scapegoat to cover for his own dubious dealings, for his own shady, let me say shady, shady dealings, using Lilibet as cover to deflect so people will talk about that instead of talking about Charles' shady dealings. Instead of talking about Charles, you know, meeting with the leader of the European Union, Asola. That's what Charles did. And I'm so, so sick of Charles making foolish decisions wading into political matters publicly and then somehow Harry and Meghan getting attacked because of Charles' shady dealings. My family, I am sick and tired of having to watch that happen time and time again, every single day. And also, we have been told that indeed William played a huge part in Harry and Meghan's eviction from, from a cottage. And but before I discuss even that, there is something else that I would like you all to recall from Harry's memoir, Spare. My family, I recall what Prince Harry said about the phone call he made to Charles, and Charles would not take Harry's phone call. At that time, they were stripping Harry and Meghan off of the security. That's what they were doing. And then Charles, because he knew what was happening and why Harry was calling, Charles would not answer Harry's phone call. And then William texted Harry at that exact moment, telling Harry, Harry, can you talk? And then saying that the decision to strip Harry and Meghan off of their security was a government decision, William said to Prince Harry, which is a blatant, blatant lie. Because clearly, as I've said before and I'll say again, if William and Charles wanted for Harry to have security, Harry would have security. But the fact is, they were involved in stripping Harry and Meghan off of the security. Just like both of them are involved right now in stripping, evicting, sorry, evicting Harry and Meghan from, from a cottage. Both of them are involved. And guess what? Even the carnival of so-called experts, even Piers Morgan himself, 
is saying exactly what we all know about William's role in kicking Harry and Meghan out of Frogmo Cottage. Everybody is saying the exact same thing. It's coming from William. It's coming from William. Everybody says the same thing. Time and time again. My family. So clearly, we all know exactly where these orders are coming from. And I want you to hear exactly them, Piers Morgan in this case, confessing exactly who given who was given the order for Harry and Meghan to lose their security. And guess what? It isn't just Charles. It isn't just Charles who is behind Harry and Meghan losing their security. It isn't just Charles. My family, hear this please. Harry's father has evicted them from the home. Harry's brother wanted them evicted from this home. I'm damn sure of it because they are sick and tired. My family, that's what Piers Morgan said. Harry's father was involved. William was also involved. And my family, apparently, you know what? Why does no one ever ask why it's okay for the royal family to leak stories to the press, but not okay for Harry and Meghan to respond to those stories, to correct lies about them being told about Harry and Meghan until the truth of what is happening, of what has happened. Why does nobody ever seem to have a problem with that? At least when people go on these UK TV shows, when Piers Morgan's talk TV, why does no one ask, demand for the royal family to stop the leaking of stories against Harry Meghan? Because no one ever asks that. No one ever demands that. Why? Because the press makes money from the leaks against Harry and Meghan. Because that's what happens. They make so much money from throwing hate lies about Harry and Meghan time and time again. And I'm sick and fed up. And the thing is, if Harry and Meghan say that it wasn't just Charles who did it, it was also William. Guess what? Harry and Meghan will be called liars. And yet, here we have Piers Morgan even on record saying William was involved. In stripping Harry and Meghan of, first of all, their security, and also my family also evicting Harry and Meghan from their home and from more cottage. Make no mistake, it was no coincidence that at, at the exact time that Harry was calling his father Charles to speak to him about losing his security. Right when the royal family had told him, told Harry and Meghan that they could keep their security for one year. And then they reneged on that deal and stripped Harry and Meghan off of their security earlier than what they promised, earlier than what they agreed on. You can't tell me it's a coincidence at that exact time that Harry was trying to call his father, Charles, to ask for help. William texted Harry. And they discussed security matters. And then William told him, it's a government decision. You can't tell me that William was not involved. And now everyone is saying, William is also behind the eviction of Harry Meghan. So they're agreeing that indeed William is part of the cruelty towards Harry Meghan. They're agreeing that 100% they are agreeing that and you know what this reminds me of it reminds me of the carnival of so-called experts who said that the leaks against Harry and Meghan are coming from the palace are coming from senior members of the royal family are coming from palace staff but when Harry and Meghan repeated it's no 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 they're lying it's all lies it's all lies yet here they are once again confirming who is behind the attacks? Who is behind putting Harry and Meghan in danger? 
by evicting Harry and Meghan from from a cottage. Because the thing is, I ask myself, you know, what is special about from a cottage? That's what I ask, I ask myself really. And I've learned that what is important is security. This security around Frogmore. That is what is important. Protecting other royal homes also in that area. Because close to that area, you have where William is also staying. And that's why that, that place is surrounded by security. And no wonder Harry and Meghan wanted to keep it. So now I understand it. Why Harry and Meghan wanted to keep from more. For security. So by doing this, my family, they are showing us a lot more than what you could possibly imagine. They are not just showing us that they are evicting Harry and Meghan. They are showing us the people, the faces of people involved in Harry and Meghan losing their security because it's happening right now once again. They are doing it all over again. And my family, we have to call this out. And there is more to what Dr. Shola said that I would like for all of you to please hear once again the wise words of this amazing, remarkable woman, Dr. Shola Moss. Please kindly hear this, please, my family. It's important that you hear what Dr. Shola said. He's moved Andrew in, apparently. You cannot tell me, Jeremy, that with all of the wealth and properties they have, that they do not have a home available for one of their most disreputable and inglorious members of their family, Prince Andrew. This is nonsense, right? As I said, they're trying to kill two birds with one stone. Let me tell you this. For anyone trying to raise the point that, well, the, 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 the front door cottage is mostly empty. I'm sorry. A number of people have second homes. And yes, the second home is empty until they come there. That's none of your business. When Harry and Meghan choose to come to England, choose to use their front door cottage, that's none of your business. The fact that it's empty is not a reason to give it to Andrew. But I'm sure Harry and Meghan will be fine. I have no doubt they have enough money to buy another property of their own. They're going to have to figure out security. But I'm saying that King Charles right now, nah, okay. this is not what a good father does. It's not what a good father does at all. My family, this is not what a good father does. Wise words from Dr. Shola herself. The whole world sees the level of pettiness from Charles. But don't forget, this wasn't the first time. They did what they're doing right now. This is not the first time. What makes me happy is that now that Harry and Meghan have shared their story, more people can see exactly what Harry and Meghan were talking about. The cruelty of the farm, the cruelty of members of the royal family, the actions of William and Charles right now are proving that what Harry and Meghan said about them is very, very much true. What Dara said about Charles is very, very much true. 100%. Charles is not a good person. Camilla is not a good person. You know, the version of being a good person in the UK to the tabloids is someone who is in bed with the tabloids, like Camilla, for instance, who leaks stories to them time and time again. Time and time again. That's, what? apparently, that's how you become a good, good person. In the world of the royal family. When you leak stories about Harry and Meghan to the press, that's when you're a good, good person. You're called good. A good royal. The virtues of being a member of the royal family detail that one must leak stories about other members of the royal family. I mean, that's what Camilla does. And because of that, tabloids now have no problem whatsoever in her being called queen. You know, they have no problem whatsoever with that because she has a solid affair with the tablets. You know, I remember 
in Harry's memoir, Spare, whereby Charles was comforting him and attacking Harry when Meghan also was not around. Once again, they always attack Harry when Meghan isn't present. Now, Harry told them and told the courtiers and even Charles himself when they told him that, hey, look, Harry, one must have a re Relationship with the press. Harry said, yes, a relationship, not a sordid affair. Prince Harry said, not an affair. What we are seeing is members of the royal family whining and dining with the carnival of so called experts who write columns for UK tablets so they can get good press, so they can carry favor in the UK tablets. That is what is called a sordid affair. They leaking stories about Harry and Meghan for them to get good press for themselves. That is what we call a sordid affair. Harry said no to that. Harry did not want to play the game of leaking and planting on stories and his wife was attacked, targeted for that. Deemed the problem by the firm and the UK tabloids. And all this time, Harry has only ever wanted to do one thing, just to keep his wife and children safe. That's all Harry has ever wanted to do. Keep his wife and kids safe. Safe from abusers. Safe from racists. In the tablets. Safe from racist trolls. That's all that Harry has only ever wanted to do. Keep his wife and children safe. And the royal family, William, Charles, day by day, for the past six years, have been making that impossible, difficult for Harry to do that. Because time and time again, the royal family keep on keeping, keep on putting, you know, putting hurdles, hurdles in the way for Harry and Meghan. Time and time again. But what I'm happy and thankful for is that despite the many hurdles that Harry and Meghan have faced, my family, it has only made Harry and Meghan stronger. And I have faith in one thing. That what is happening right now, my family, it's also making Harry and Meghan even more and more stronger. I know they must be disappointed. Harry must be disappointed in his father, Charles. But as a son, Harry, who has been so used to being disappointed by Charles and William, who have constantly abused Harry, I think he will see what is happening and say, indeed, I was right to keep my distance from these people, I've tried to reach out with them, but clearly it just isn't working out with them. Space, space is highly, highly important. In a toxic, dysfunctional family, where Harry comes from, my family, I'm happy that Harry said, that suffering ends with me. My kids won't have to experience that. That shows you the man who Harry is. A good man with a remarkable, remarkable, good, good heart. My family, you know, when I speak of disappointments, I think about what Harry said in his memoir. What happened to him? Just a couple of days after his late mom's funeral, Harry was shipped off to boarding school. You know, you know, if you read that memoir, you just understand just the toxicity that Harry has come from. That dysfunctional family called the Ro called the Royal family, where he comes from, and he Harry has chosen to be different. To be a different person. A good man with a good heart. And I applaud Harry 
for just that. You know? And my family, as Dr. Shola has said, I find it repugnant the way King Charles continually demonstrates such lack of good judgment and poor character regarding Harry and Meghan. His character and judgment as a father and king are totally substandard. Indeed, indeed, indeed. That's what everyone can see, Dr. Shola. That's what everybody in the entire world right now is seeing. Harry and Meghan were right about the cruel, you know, family that they come from. My family, so Harry and Meghan have reacted also through their spokesperson who has said these words and I quote, We can confirm the Duke and Duchess of Sussex have been requested to vacate their residence at Fromo Cottage. And don't forget why this is happening. Not just to give someone who paid millions of pounds to a woman he never met, who accused him of sexual assault, you know, a place to stay. No. It's not just about Andrew. No. It's about William. William wants to have where Andrew was staying. He wants it to be his fifth home. You know, the guy has so many homes. William has so many, many homes. Many. But based on what is being reported, William wants exactly where Andrew is staying. That's what William wants. He wants another place. And he wants Andrew's place. And as the heir, that's what William is being given. He's been given. The royal family. You know? That is what William is being, is being given. My family, be thankful of the parents that you've been given. Because it is time like this that you just remember and recall. And get thankful at being given good parents. Sadly for Harry, this person he calls Pa, father, is not a good parent and he has never ever been a good parent. A father protects their children from abuse. A father defends you, loves you, and even when you make a mistake, a father is there to listen to you, to be there for you. Not kicking you out because you expose the father for not being a good parent to you. For being cold to you. Even Charles himself called his own mother, you know, cold. Accused him of being, of accused his own mother of being distant. Charles did that. And the queen did not kick out Charles from where he was staying. She never did that. But Charles is doing that to his own son, Harry. Disgusting and evil what he's doing because he was exposed. Because how he abused Megan, I spoke about it. Because no matter what they've done to split Harry from Megan, they have failed. You know? They've tried to break apart Harry and Megan. They have tried to destroy them, Harry and Megan. And time and time again, they have failed. You know what? Even Megan told them when, when leaving, that, hey, look, we're going to leave. And you all can get to be on the front pages just as you like it. But it's clear that that's not happening. 
that that is not happening and has never ever happened to even this day. Harry and Meghan make the front page despite not living in the UK for the past three years, despite living in the US. Harry and Meghan make the front page in the UK. So my family, this also is about jealousy. Jealousy. And now they are fed up. They are trying to ensure that no matter what happens, Harry and Meghan, if they come to the UK, they have no place to stay. You know, some are saying, oh, look, they could stay with Charles. My family, we all know what happens in the royal family, the leaking and the plotting of stories. Some people want Harry and Meghan to be so, so close to their abusers, around their abusers, where you have staff, courtiers, that Harry described in the most pair, who called them the bee, the fly, and the wasp. You have them over there, waiting, ready to leak any story about Harry and Meghan to the press to cause Harry and Meghan severe mental health distress and to abuse Harry and Meghan. So, staying with abusers for Harry and Meghan, I believe, is not an option for them. It is not an option. Don't forget what happened to Harry when he stayed at Kensington Palace, Harry by William, at Nottingham Cottage. William went to where, went to where Harry was staying at Harry's own place where he was staying with Meghan at the time, Nottingham Cottage, inside Kensington Palace, and then proceeded to physically assault Harry. My family, I feel like Harry and Meghan know, you know, what they're trying to do. And this time, they won't ever, ever fool Harry and Meghan ever, ever again. Never. Yes, Harry has love for his family. He always will. That's his family, despite how toxic they are. Despite how toxic they are. But my family, one thing I've seen from Harry is that he knows boundaries are healthy. And no wonder, in an interview with Stephen Colbert, he said, what's, he was asked, what's your future right now? What does the future, you know... Describe it, how it is for you. And Harry said, peace, you know, love. And he said, space, space. Harry has only ever used space when discussing his relationship with other members of the royal family, like William. Space. We know what he meant. Harry, we got you. Harry knows that, you know, living with abusers, that's a no-no. And won't allow his kids or Megan to be around William or Charles, who clearly have been abusive, not just to Megan, but also to their child, Archie. My family, tell me what you think about what Harry and Megan have said. It's a classy statement and a simple one. Just confirming what has happened. That's all that has happened. My family, one thing is clear. Harry and Meghan have even more reasons to stay away from the coronation. And I hope that they don't come. And make no mistake, now that they're not coming, I mean, we can only hope that they won't go because I, I can't confirm that even me. No one knows Harry and Meghan's plans. But my family, from what is happening, it's clear and easy to make, you know, the decision that in the UK, it is very much toxic for Harry and Meghan. The environment there is abusive, hateful towards Harry and Meghan from the tabloids and also from members of the royal family themselves, from William to Charles. My family, and I know that Harry and Meghan will never want a repeat of what happened after the Queen passed away, that horrible reaction for members of the farm. That I believe in 100% my family. Now tell me what you think about everything that is happening, Kylie. I like to hear your opinion. And with that and so much more, 
Harry Megan, have a good time in Montecito. And I hope that you stay there and enjoy your son's birthday, birthday on May the 6th. And not come to coronation where Charles keeps on being abusive and so does William. You know, I hope Harry Megan stay far away from them. Now tell me what you think about this kindly. I'd like to hear your opinion on this, please. With that and so much more, stay tuned on our next video. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and support our Evergreen family on YouTube. And stay tuned to our next video. Love you always and forever. You've heard from Piers Morgan. This is not just Charles', Charles decision. It's also very much Williams. But if and when Harry and Meghan ever choose to speak about it, they'll be called unlabeled liars. And no wonder it's important. That's why it's important to keep receipts. And I'm happy that we have taken receipts. My family, may God bless Harry and Meghan. Harry and Meghan will stand with you. And we condemn Charles' abuse of his own son and mistreatment of his own son, just like he poorly treated Harry's mom, Diana. May her soul rest in peace. My family, Harry, Meghan, Archie, Lilibet, continue having a good time in California with your friends, with your loved ones. And keep having that, that space from your abusers. Harry and Meghan, we stand with you. Stay tuned to our next video. Love you always and forever. Hello, members of Zesco Family TV. First of all, I want to say thank you for all your support that you give us to our channel. We don't take it for granted that you support this channel. I want to say thank you from the bottom of our hearts for lending out your support and fighting against injustices, supporting Prince Harry and Meghan, showing them love. Love will always triumph over evil. And for that, I say thank you. Good will always prevail over bad. Thank you so much for all your support. Thank you so much for joining this community, this amazing community of Zesco Family TV. I love you so much, family, from the bottom of my heart. And I wish you all the best. May you have a great, great day. And I hope that you enjoyed this video and learned a lot, a lot of things. With that and so much more, stay tuned to our next video. Leave a comment below, like, and subscribe. Love you, family, always and forever. Sayonara.